thank you thanks uh, thank you and um, um, in fact um, um, I, uh, uh, all the panelists and others who are all here listening uh, i thank the honorable minister of textiles and the honorable prime minister in fact uh, the minister of textiles have formed two committees one committee under the chairmanship of uh, shri kathariya ji and uh, the other committee has been formed uh, for production and logistics the committee under kathariya ji is uh, for finance and uh, as he rightly mentioned uh, friends be rest assured the representation on the additional working capital on deferment and uh, all the representation whatever we have given the ministry of uh, ministry of textiles honorable minister for textiles have forwarded uh, it to the finance ministry and uh, kathariya ji had mentioned about the special textile fund which i need not uh, explain to you again same way on production and logistics uh, there were two meetings and associations across the country were brought into both the associations both the committees and we had deliberations and eny was brought inside and the uh, ministry of textiles have asked eny to work along with the ministry of textiles to formulate the special te uh, textile fund which uh, kataria ji just mentioned and uh, sir all i would like to say is the panelists have spoken about the market conditions you are well aware we have spoken about this again and again and i do not want to repeat it again and all i would say all i would be the industry looks upon the mother to take care of it and of course sir we are we are here to do our best the industry is gearing up but the challenges in front of us is multifold which we have never faced in our in the history of the textile industry so unless and otherwise the help comes inside it will be very difficult for the industry to bounce back and as uh, mentioned by harminder the market overseas is terrible it will take its own time to come back so sir all the supports of course you have written to all the ministries unless otherwise the support comes in sir it will be very difficult thank you so much hello yes sir yes no uh, as i said as i said that uh, this, this, this of course we have uh, uh, the, the, these kind of issues affect all the industry not necessarily the textile it is very particular to textile certainly we can uh, take uh, take a decision in the ministry but they, these issues relate to the Uh, other ministry as well so the government as a whole has is taking various measures some measures have already been taken by the government uh, by way of uh, various general packages being given uh, the guidelines being issued by rbi and certain packages at at our level at least we are trying our best to try to convince the appropriate level to give support to the textile industry uh, uh, in uh, all the areas uh, and uh, as far as uh, the uh, fund is concerned we'll try to uh, no, uh, work on this uh, this fund uh, uh, very quickly but uh, as i said that uh, this fund uh, uh, has to be a, a fund which will be uh, no, uh, formulated uh, with the support of the government and the industry so i i would request that the industry and especially the industry associations should come forward and uh, you know try to contribute to the fund to the maximum extent thank you thank you sir so the need of the hour is you see because of this uh, complex situation i think uh, under the dynamic leadership of our textile minister uh, mrs smriti irani and under the you know our honorable prime minister you see we look upon them with uh, quite a hope that you know this support and industry which has been one of the backbones of india sector so and in exports to as everybody is saying that there are lot of opportunities of course there are challenges but at this juncture you see the support what we look upon uh from the government side is what other countries are also providing so that's where you know the crux of the situation is we will do our level best to see how we can grow the textile sector 
and to not only to the US and European market, as Mr. Sami has pointed out, but also to Japan and new other developed economies and also developing nations. But you see, we need proper fiscal and regulatory policy to continue in a better way so that, you know, this sector which works on very thin margin and being capital intensive and labor intensive, we can overcome this challenge. We assure the uh, ministry that we will leave no stone unturned into protecting and providing them the necessary safety and will perform our moral duties, but at the same time, we look upon the expectedly from the government. That's only I would like to say at this moment. Uh, actually, uh, uh, as our Secretary Textile you know, yesterday mentioned in another group uh, meeting also, our problem is that we are in the segment where the margins are very thin. No, we, we, that, that is the thing we need to change. And this is the opportunity we need to change because we are, what he also he was mentioning is that we are in the segment of, say, uh, no, T-shirts, where the margin will be very, very low. We need to move it to the uh, higher value chain you know, where there, is, there are much bigger margins so that the, even if the impact is there, they will not be affected to that extent. So that is the thing probably we need to think in terms of those lines of uh, you know, moving to those directions and MMF is one segment and where, of course, the uh, government uh, is trying to address the problems of MMF, partly it has been done and remaining uh, the Ministry of uh, Textile is very strongly taking up those issues. So uh, uh, to, it, uh, to provide level playing field. So uh, this is the main problem that our margins are very, very low and that needs to change. Uh, all of us have to work towards that uh, uh, no objective that in future we need to go to the segment where uh, uh, the, the rest of the world is, where, the, where they, 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 they have much bigger margins, so slight uh, uh, no, uh, cost here, slight cost there, that will not impact so much. Yes. No, thank you. Uh, we will definitely look into this, and as I said here as well, you know, uh, any support uh, to the textile industry directly supporting the farmers, the laborers, exports made in India, make in India, everything. So I think it's a good opportunity for us all to believe that the path can be, you know, made much more, you know, uh, stable and uh, grow up from there if we have this support from you at this juncture. Yes, uh, yes, the uh, textile industry, uh, textile ministry is very strongly supporting most of the thing, uh, most of the, uh, you know, uh, requests made, but within the limits, because textile the ministry has a particular budget, with the domain we can certainly uh, take on, but in the future, when we talk of future, when we are formulating schemes, when we are formulating you no know, guidelines, projects, which direction we need to go, where we need to incentivize, there we are making these corrections, right? So uh, one is the immediate direct support for all kind of thing, the wages, this, that. Of course, we uh, uh, have taken up uh, at appropriate level. But the rest of the thing, that in what direction our industry should go and how do we support effectively the, the industry so there is a movement in a positive direction. Uh, those areas we are uh, working very strong. We are, those areas we want that this needs to be corrected and we feel that this is the right time and we can do it. <laughs> Hello. Uh, can I suggest Mr. Giovanni to share, pose a question if you have one, sir? Mr. Yeah. Giovanni. Thank you, Ajay. Yeah, thank you, Ajay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kataria, sir, uh, uh, for the uh, the special dispensation on the releasing the tough fund against the bank guarantee. That uh, that will be a very uh, that measure will actually go a long way in uh, providing some liquidity to us uh, to all the industry. Uh, I have two uh, requests, sir. One is micro level and one is macro level. Uh, one micro level request is so that 
we keep seeing this problem between the two systems that is customs and dgft they don't talk to each other and therefore the shipping bills don't get transmitted which is actually delaying the issuance of rstcl script and that is putting a lot of hardship on the companies uh, to convert data uh, to get some liquidity from rstcl script so uh, that will be very helpful if uh, you can send a uh, an intervention to resolve those issues in terms of macro level uh, sir uh, as you rightly said we need to seize this opportunity uh, and focus on the opportunity which is coming out because of the backlash against china and uh, as all the other panelists also have mentioned that this is a highly capital intensive industry and therefore the national textile fund which you are referring to it will be it will be helpful uh, you know to know what kind of uh, support which will be available to get into those kind of high value added activity uh, products which you are talking about high margin which will provide the uh, insulation to the industry also and we have an advanced textile business it will be it will be a logical extension for us to get into that uh, high value added products so it will be helpful to know and uh, expedite the national textile fund to see what kind of support can be available to the industry for uh, making investment into new uh, ventures thank you sir uh see uh, we uh, are still uh, no at discussion stage but uh, uh, certainly um, uh, as i said earlier is that um, uh, what we are looking at is that this fund um, should support in a, at a macro level what i talk about is that it, this fund should uh, support uh, the uh, expansion of the industry upscaling integration modernization everything so that is for big as well as small it covers both it covers the entire value chain so that that we are working out we have not gone into detail but the, we are trying to fix up the macros and then uh, i was thinking is that uh, our industry at present for last some time has a lot of problem with that especially the, we want to put uh, release money but because of the complexities uh, of the procedure and all kind of things the money is getting uh, is not getting released last one year i have been trying to put and try to uh, relax our own the minister has very kindly agreed for all kind of you know changes and uh, you no know, streamlining of the procedure but still we had money and we could not release i was thinking is that uh, now it is better that now this national textile fund we create with where uh, the objective also will be modernized maybe much bigger objective than what tap had so is it, will it be uh, feasible to uh, uh, over a period of time subsume tap in this uh, national textile fund so the funds are available we are able to achieve uh, uh, a much bigger objective uh, uh, and at the same time take care of the problem you no know, which are you no know, being faced by the present uh, uh, procedural uh, you no know, uh, and guidelines set of guidelines which we are in uh, for the tough so that uh, you no know, uh, uh, clearing that clutter is becoming really really difficult so uh, one is that uh, tough can be subsumed in this national textile fund so that we have apart from the initial Uh, capital equity uh, injection by the government uh, the uh, subsequent uh, annual flows could also be there and we can somehow uh, incentivize some of the segments uh, where there, there is a mode of export and where there, uh, no some uh, some criteria certainly we can work out so i was thinking uh, what is the uh, opinion of the industry on this that if uh, over a period of time stuff is subsumed in the in this national textile fund so that the uh, this fund becomes much more uh, uh, in terms of uh, government support uh, maybe a much longer period support can be given instead of just initial equity and then some kind of uh, uh, more incentives can be given and the procedural bottlenecks can be addressed this is I, i i we have not decided but we were just thinking on this i just want to see your opinion on this whether this is feasible okay can can i can can i get your views on this 
Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, it it uh, it sounds good, sir. Uh, to subsume here, and uh, we'll have to uh, we can discuss this uh, offline uh, in greater details. But prima mm -hmm. facie, it, it sounds uh, good, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I have some other meeting, so I have to leave right now. Uh, 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 we can continue offline discussion on many of these policy issues, which are very very important. And uh, thank you very much for inviting me and sharing my thoughts. No, we, 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 uh, I, I strongly feel that there's a great opportunity and uh, now we need to work and we need to work in this difficult time for, to prepare for those opportunities. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Kataria. And thank you all the panelists uh, on this webinar. And my special thanks to our Secretary General of the Confederation of Indian Textile Industry, Dr. Sunanda. Shri Jivani, Shri Lal Puriya, Shri Raj Kumar, Mr. Sahani, and of course, our Joint Secretary, Mr. Das. Thank you all for being here to the webinar and hope to be in touch in the future. Thank you so much. And you are out now. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Please take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.